Yo, 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 what's poppin', what's poppin'? It's your boy, Cannon Truck. Checking in, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all the good shit for your boy. Oh, man. So, let's talk about it, man. I've been in Chicago for Christmas. Just left Memphis for New Year's. Gotta go down to Austin, Texas. Um, I'm gonna spend the whole week in Austin, Texas. So, I've really just been vacationing, enjoying my time. Because I know once I get back on the road, playtime over with, you know, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to dedicate my life to the, the damn road. So, um... Yeah, man, I've been out for two weeks, you know, doing my thing, working my one, two. But I already secured the bag in the beginning, so it is what it is. Um, a lot of people ask me, like, hey, what's the home time with Nationwide? It's all about, you know, when you want to go home. And, you know, they don't trip about me for taking off two weeks and shit because they know I stay out for months at a time sometimes. Like, I'm going to stay out for three months when I go back out January the 9th. Man, I just got to get this money, man. It's all about ownership. Like I've been telling people, man, I got to get my own truck. Um, I got to get my own shit started, man, because uh, this economy, everything is so unpredictable, bro. You can't have all your your ducks in one row. You know, it, it, even if there's staying with one company, like shit might change their nationwide tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So you can't have all your ducks in a row, man, so. But I tell everybody, I always have a backup plan, you know. Even if you got a backup company that, okay, all right, if this shit don't work out here, have a backup company you thinking about going to. Because I know I do, you know. So it's all about covering your own ass no matter what uh, going on out here. But, man, I just, um, man, I be seeing a lot of uh, comments and stuff on YouTube, a lot of these troller dudes. In 2023, bro, what to expect from me, bro? I'm not paying attention to none of that shit no more. Like, uh, one of the trollers, this Owen dude, super cap ass dude, I think he from like Saline, Texas or some shit like, I mean, Saline, Kansas, I'm not beefing with no nigga from Saline, Kansas, bro. It ain't nothing out there, but fucking, it's nothing, bro. I'm not beefing with nobody. Like, you ain't got no nothing, bro. Like, just relax, bro. So, um, I blocked him, got him on up out the way. So, man, my block list heavy for 2023, man. So, don't come on my page talking all that greasy ass shit. I'm not finna go back and forth with you. Um, I've been seeing some shit on YouTube, man. Trucker Coach got a uh, code name, Narc Fired, and all that shit. I gotta really look deep into it. I really gotta haul that code name and see what the fuck exactly happened with this situation. So, maybe I'll go live and maybe I'll get code name up on the album. Then I see, um, a lot of guys on YouTube bashing Coco, uh, Coco Journey and shit, bashing her on YouTube because she making her OnlyFans and then her Andrew got the fighting and all this shit like that. Man, it's black men, bro. Turn down black women. I, like, I don't give a fuck about the situation that she got going on or nothing like that. That's between her and whoever. I don't know her personally or nothing like that. But for all the black men that's on YouTube, turn down that black woman. Like, that's super lame to me. And then I had commented on Lockout Man. Uh, I had commented on his channel and uh, just said, damn. I said, damn, we turned down black women. And it's like a lot of truck drivers came for me. Like, so, so, so you like, so, so you like, uh, you like hoes out here and shit like that. I'm like, bro, who knows what she a hoe? Just because she make her only fan, do that make her a hoe? We don't know who she fucking on. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ass act like y'all mad because uh, she didn't respond back to y'all inbox or some shit. So that's all the lame shit I've been seeing on YouTube, man. Um, that's why I ain't really made no videos. I've been enjoying myself, bro. Like, I ain't really got time for all this crazy shit. Like, most of them folks, they doing that shit for clout, for the numbers, man. And uh, in 2023, we just got to stay focused, bro. Um, six months can change your life, bro. Six months of hard work can change your life, bro. That shit can put you five years ahead, man. And this is what people don't understand. So, uh, man, I got to get back focused. You know, um, I done been enjoying my time off. I've been getting my body right and shit, uh, working out and shit, you know. So it's all about the little shit that we got to do out here uh, to make sure we straight and on top, you know. Uh, man, I just be looking at my house. I be looking at my cars and shit. I just be looking at my whole life from fucking 2017. And now I'm like, damn, I done came a long way. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm just speaking on material shit right now, but I just came a long way in life. Uh, my mentality, uh, how I move, all that shit like that, you know? Because uh, what I be telling people, like, bro, I'm a, like a reformed gangster. And a lot of people be like, oh, why you say that? 
Because, bro, I used to gangbang. I used to do all that crazy ass shit. But I don't do that shit no more. So when I see young niggas doing that shit, I try to tell them, like, bro, that shit ain't the way to go, bro. It's all about some money. And uh, I be really on here trying to get that in people's heads, bro. Like, it's all about the money, bro. Like, fuck all that other shit. I don't care what nobody tell you about nothing, bro. It's all about the money. So, man, the little young dudes I be seeing in Memphis in my hometown and shit, I try to tell their ass, like, bro, it's all about the money. All that gang banging, all that doing that dumb shit. So I try to tell all my partners, you know, I go to the barbershop, kick it hours and shit just talking to my partners about trucking i'm like bro this shit life changer bro what do y'all do get up off your ass sacrifice sacrifice smoking that little ass blunt getting that little ass hour high sacrifice all that shit for the bigger goal bro you know what i'm saying because there's a lot of money out here it just some people just don't know how to execute a plan or, or make a goal and just go get it you know it's a lot of money out here especially in trucking um, so a lot of people be getting discouraged in trucking because they be like, man, I ain't got no license and shit like that. I got to get my license renewed. What you think I done did? My license been suspended before, way before trucking. You know what I'm saying? Way before trucking. I had hella tickets on my background in, um, trucking, but I still maintained, found the job, got my license renewed, paid all the tickets off. It's just all, it's a, it, it it's. It ain't a sprint, bro. It's a marathon, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be trying to tell people, bro, like, you're going to go through shit, but you got to get through the shit. You know, um, only the strong going to survive. That's all. Only the strong going to survive. And um, it's all about getting the fucking money. It all goes back to getting the money, man. You know, because uh, these women out here, they don't respect no broke men. They don't want no broke men. Just like men, we don't want no broke women. So, um, I know I, I kind of veered off on the topic, but... Uh, I just feel like that shit is, is on my heart, man. So if you new out here or you thinking about trucking and you subscribe to my channel, man, definitely take what I say and, man, execute it. You know what I'm saying? Like, year one, you know, find out if you're trucking for you. Um, try not to wreck the damn truck. Uh, year two, save all the money you can. Maybe find a better company that pay a little more because uh, you got two years of experience. Save all the money you can. Then year three, go out and look, start looking for trucks and maybe buy you a truck. So um, that's like what I got going on for 2023, buying a truck, bro. Like executing my plan, making this shit happen. So I'm just glad that y'all subscribe to the channel and that y'all um, can see my journey, bro. Like um, like I said, it ain't a sprint, it's a marathon. Like my pace and your pace might be two different things. So with that being said, you know... Um, we just got to stay focused and get to it, though, you know. So, man, I shout out to everybody, man. Like I said, man, I love y'all, man. Appreciate everybody for subscribing. Um, this year, we not going to fall into all the negativity on YouTube. I'm going to be giving out a lot of uh, great content as far as information to truck drivers, uh, different type of jobs. They pay different type of amounts. Um what should new truck drivers do? Like, man, I'm coming with all that content for 2023. Uh, we really not going to be doing no plan on this YouTube, man. I know I've been bullshitting a lot. You know, I be on trucker coach ass a lot. I still might be on his ass because his ass be tweaking. Uh, but far as all that other shit, um, I ain't got time for it. All these trolls and shit, I ain't got time for that. Uh, We're going to stick to the plan and stick to the script. Actually, y'all, uh, I want to show y'all something. So uh, I see my boy uh, Cordova drawing. He got his uh, supplements and shit, so it's some, some workout tips for everybody. So, man, lean PM, bro. You can take this at night. Before you go to sleep, you can take this at night. It'll help you out. Like, take it, like, 5 o'clock during the day, and you can burn fat, fat while you sleep. Burn XT. You can take this. And uh, before you work out or something, you got to be working out, though. You got to stay active. But it helps you, though. You know, it builds your muscle. And all that shit like that. So just take out these two supplements. I think they're good supplements for men that's having problems as far as uh, trying to lose some weight, trying to get their body in shape. Uh, because me, I ain't trying to be the fat ass truck driver falling out the motherfucking um, <laughs> falling out the motherfucking truck. You know, that's that's me. Um, most truck drivers, every time they hop out the truck, they break a ligament or some shit like that because they too fucking overweight. They knees can't uh, handle that shit. So, I'm not trying to be the overweight truck driver. So, check this shit out, man. Burn XT and Lean PM, bro. I think they great supplements. I'm going to try them. Uh, we're doing a 90-day workout plan. So, man, uh, comment below 
we're going to do this 100 a day push up challenge. I think me and Cordova, I started it late. He already ended his. But um, we're going to do that again, man. So, Cordova, if you're seeing this, I see you got your supplements. I got mine too, brother. So, uh, we watching uh, everything you do, brother, man. Keep the great content coming up. You're a real dude, bro. So, man, we're going we're gonna to get back to the 100, 100 push ups a day challenge. And, man, we're going to do it. So, man, I just got back on here to check up with y'all, man. What's plans for 2023? Uh, all that good shit, man. But like I said, man, I love y'all, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good shit for your boy. Man, we're going to keep everything positive on the up and up. And I'm going to keep giving y'all good content.